All right, hi guys, Liz here. I am going to film a creativity for all ages mail art project using jelly plates and Strathmore greeting cards. These are their mixed media series and a watercolor postcard. Um, if you're not familiar with a jelly plate, um, it's a flexible printing plate and they come in a bunch of sizes. They're really easy to use, a little cleanup. Uh, this is great for um, pretty much all ages or anyone that can use acrylic paint and up. That's the uh, most immediate uh, product that works with this. I have mine just clinging to a piece of plexiglass uh, that I got and I use it. It helps me pick it up and use it like a big rubber stamp. It's very handy. I'm going to use some Crafters Workshop stencils to do an easy uh, two layer pattern. And my favorite paint for this is um, Amsterdam acrylic when I want something a little thicker. And I also use uh, the Americana. So craft acrylic works really well. And this one's a fluid acrylic. The other tool you'll want is a um, a brayer, and this is from Speedball, and it's really easy. Uh, I'll demo everything. You'll also see me using a piece of uh, decorative paper, and this is um, a Thai paper called Thai Mango Natural, and I use this to roll off my extra paint from the brayer, and I can use that for a collage later. Um, so that's really fun, but I'll show you that part too. Okay, I'll show you how much paint I apply. Uh, this is the five by seven plate. They come in, like I said, they come in a bunch of sizes, smaller and larger. And I will get going. So for a plate this size, and I, and I picked this size because it's the size of the greeting cards, um, just so I can get full coverage there. So you can see it's just a little dollop. And you want to roll your acrylic in one direction. While it's on my roller here, I'm just going to roll it off onto my uh, decorative paper here. And just wipe off the roller a little bit. There we go. There it is rolled off. I kind of pre-creased uh, the greeting cards. Now I can pick this up and not worry about getting paint on my hands. I'm not worried about getting paint on my little mat here that doesn't bother me and then I just want to try to line that up as best as that I can and then there we go bingo press a little bit I'm gonna do all my background colors and then I'll come back and do the stenciled layer all right very fun with a mono print, you get one impression to do your design. So they're all going to be unique and vary a little bit. Let's see. Change my mind, I'm gonna do some pink. So there might be some turquoise in the pink, but that's all right. There we go little swizzle there. And again, I'm just going to roll this in one direction. Okay. 
kind of cool. <laughs> Let's see, other side of the plate. Just press it and hold it for a moment. Pretty fun. See, there's some of the turquoise left over. Let's do one more card and then um, a postcard. <clears throat> Pretty good. All right, pretty fun background. I'll do my postcard now. I'm gonna do a, this is a six by eight, <clears throat> um, watercolor block it's a food 100 it's cotton it's probably a little fancier than what i need for this but i want to mail this to wet paint for the summer postcard project and so i wanted something a little sturdier and i think i'll do should we get a little this is the americana and I'll use it in combo with the Amsterdam. Put some glue on the center there. All right. Now you can do as many layers as you want. That's part of the fun of this process you can really just print on it until you like the outcome you can also apply your paint with brushes of course and that kind of thing there's not too many rules you'd want to use soft brushes you don't want to use sharp tools on the jelly plates because you'd risk um, indenting them or, you know, poking them sh or you don't want to damage them. You want a nice surface. Ooh, that's fun. It's got some texture. You can see how it kind of picks up the layers from before. Um, it's really fun to, uh, once you're done printing for the day to uh, leave a sheet of paper over it when you want to clean it up and then in the next day when you come up and peel that paper back there's all these beautiful little speckles of kind of confetti and that kind of that kind of look and then you can use that paper for collage as well so there's no new paint on the plate right now i'm going to just lay uh, my stencil down. This is again Crafters Workshop is the brand that makes these which we sell at Wet Paint 2. And I just press it down just lightly and I'm gonna do uh, Amsterdam on top. This is gonna go on the first card I made and I'm just keeping these like somewhat monochromatic uh, just for speed but really I mean, you can, like I said, you can layer as much as you want. Try different surfaces. Um, if you want to start jelly printing, it's and you need something inexpensive to practice on. I use 
a phone book page a lot or a discarded um, dictionary or anything with like that kind of thinner weight paper and then that makes really fun collage paper too because then you get a little bit of text behind your color near you that does like I said this plexi does make it easier to pick up and I'm just gonna go right on top of my uh, turquoise there off to the side here I'm just <clears throat> rolling off my brayer on that piece of Thai mango and my stencil imprint and I'll show you that uh, sheet too once I'm done with all the prints. All right. See how that went. Oh, pretty fun. All right, I'm gonna hang that one up and let that dry here. Pink one was next. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try this guy. I'm gonna go for like a watermelon kind of look, color palette. And I think just for fun, I'm gonna do two greens, and you can mix them. Uh, directly on the jelly plate. That light green was Americana and this one is Amsterdam. me rolling the uh, extra paint off the stencil. Pretty cute. It's watermelony. Maybe. Anyone else see that? <laughs> and that one up. I have a little uh, string in my studio with clips that where you can hang stuff to dry. It's very handy. So there's a lot of green left on here, and I'm gonna do something really quick. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, just regular white acrylic and it's going to pick up some of that green. Before I go on, because I think I want orange on my last card. Let's see. <clears throat> so when I mentioned when I clean off the plate after I'm done printing for a day, and uh, you get all these nice like little flicks of color. Um, you could do a like a white background and then really everything really will start to show up. It's very fun. I'm gonna grab one thing out of my flat file really quick. I just 
grab a second piece of the uh, uh, Thai mango. These come in a big size and I usually just quarter these. You can also use uh, just regular Thai mulberry if you don't want something with like the leaves in it. If you just wanted a solid thing to save all that paint that comes off. Let me move this so I can show you this a little better. So I just put white on top of all that green to try and lift some of the green off. And I'm just gonna lay this down. And I can flip here and just rub a little with the palm of my hand or my fingers. And I'm just trying to lift off a little more of that green before I do my last two pieces of mail art. Oh, well, I could let that sit overnight and let that dry, but for this video's sake, I want to do this in one session. Let's see. Although that is very fun. Definitely use that later or keep working on it. It's one of these happy mediums that you can really just do until you're satisfied. And actually, if you get set up for the day, you think you'll just print for an hour and often it turns into a three hour activity. <laughs> it's very fun and addictive. Okay, so that's clear enough for what I wanted to do for my next uh, piece of mail art. And that's this coral color one. I'm just going to do, I think, a nice light orange on that. <coughs> Excuse me. Some water. Stay hydrated. All right. A little orange there. Let's see, that's about how much I put on. Let's put that guy over again. I'm still rolling in one direction. You don't really want to go back and forth with your roller because then your paint just sticks to the roller and doesn't get on your print. Timber, I got a uh, paint tubes falling over. Peel that off. I'm going to do some more mono print videos too that are a little more uh, in depth and more uh, step by step, almost, almost like a mini class. There's that nice coral background, and then I've got the orange stencil design here. Let's we'll see what we got. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cute. It's subtle. Yep, that's a pretty fun one. Very happy with that guy. All right, and then last but not least, I'm gonna do the postcard that I'm gonna send to work for the mail art uh, project that we do every summer. We do a summer postcard project. It's really, really fun. Now the tricky part is, do I try to line this up or do I just roll with it let's see nope I tried to line it up that's the mood I'm in today <laughs> all right I'm gonna do that nice orange again okay 
Okay. Just a light coat. Just press a little bit. Okay. All right, pretty fun. That's the postcard. I'll peel this off the block here, and maybe I'll you know, set it in as is or write a nice note. I sure miss those guys and all you guys. So thanks for watching, and I hope you will try some jelly plate printing and uh, look forward to more videos with this uh, this material and supplies they're really fun we'll do some different projects we'll make our own collage paper uh, all that will be coming up all right thanks for watching